Hi, welcome to my channel and today I have another theatre vlog for you. Today's quite an exciting one. I'm actually travelling to Sheffield today to the Crucible Theatre to see Miss Saigon. I'm really excited. So I've kind of been invited to the press night and I'm really excited to see this. It's, like, um, it's not a replica production so it's going to be really interesting to see what changes they've made what the set's like so I'm really looking forward to tonight my brother is coming with me however he's not traveling with me um because he finishes work later and I didn't know who was coming at first I wasn't sure who was going to come with me so I'm getting an earlier train I'm gonna get some dinner before the show then he's gonna meet me just before we go in and then coming home um he had to get a different train to me he couldn't get the one that I was on uh so yeah but really looking forward to the day obviously i will show you around the theatre i'll show you any merch but i don't think they'll have any merch with it being a new show i don't think so anyway i'll show you the program when we get home and i will try and record the curtain call for you if i don't have to leave before the end because my train is quite close towards the end of the show um but my brother is staying later so if i have to leave hopefully he'll be able to record the curtain call for you well yeah, it should be a really exciting day. I've not been to Sheffield for a very, very long time. I think the last time was when I went for a PhD interview years ago when my sister was at uni there because I remember staying in her halls while I went for a PhD uh, interview. Um, so yeah, it's been a very long time since I've been to Sheffield. So I'm really looking forward to it. So I'll get back to you now once I'm at the train station. So I've just arrived at the tram station. My tram is due in seven minutes. So, not too long. It should be fine for the train. Driving around, singing songs way too loud because we wanna. Picking up our love friends, we love to cry to live because we wanna. We wanna. Yeah, we just wanna have fun. The trunk's full of wine. We're gonna stay up at the time of our lives. The night is in. I've just arrived at the train station now. It is about half past. I've got about 18 minutes till my train. And today I'm actually not in platform 14, I'm platform four. So I make the change. So I'll probably get back to you now once I'm on the train. Okay, so it's now 10 minutes till my train. So I'm on platform four. Train's here, so I'm gonna head up. I'm on the train now. Uh, it's due to leave in about five minutes. It's taken an hour and 20 minutes to get there. So I'll get there for about five past five. So I'll get back to you now once I'm
So I've just arrived in Sheffield. I've got absolutely no idea where I'm going. I'm gonna head out in a minute and try and find somewhere to eat. And my brother should get here at five past six and I'll meet him and he knows his way around then. So yeah, I'll get back to you in a bit. an hour to actually find the place now I finally found the way I was doing so I've only actually got half an hour to get food now so let's hope the food comes quick so I'm in a Weber Spoons now I think it's called the Banker's Draft just got what I usually get chicken burger and chips and a drink it is now nearly six o'clock so half an hour before I need to head to the theatre um, my brother gets his train in five minutes and yeah it took me an hour to find this place an hour my brother said it's literally a 10 minute walk up the road so yeah i'm no good at following maps but anyway we're here now Okay, so my brother has joined me now, we're just about to head in, he's just walking up, so yeah, if you've all tricked, so it's, it should start in 20 minutes, so literally we're going to get in, find our seats and it should be long till it starts. Okay, so we're on road D seventeen and eighteen. This is our seat. So this is our view from our seat. As you can see, it's a thrust stage. So it comes out and people sit around it. And I'm pretty sure these people at the front are part of the show. They're just slowly coming out from uh, down here and they're sitting around. So I'm pretty sure they're gonna be part of the show. So anyway, it should start in about two minutes and I'll get back to you in the interval.
really enjoying it. Just gonna head into the press room now and get a drink. And yeah, it's so good. I'll tell you more about it obviously at the end. So we're just in the press area now. We've just got our drinks. Just debating whether I'm gonna be able to make it to the train on time because it took me half an hour. And it actually only took me ten. Five minutes, you say? You said five. Well, yeah, I'm going to drink my drink and then we'll head back. Okay, so the interval is over. Heading back to our seats now. The next um, part is only an hour, so... is over now it was really good but i have just 20 minutes to get to the train station so i'm gonna have to run so i'll get back to you once i'm home okay so i've made it to the train station i've got 10 minutes till my train so just need to find the part for that way there's no entry that way this way was gonna make it just did over on a little bit but luckily Andrew is here and it actually only took us five minutes to get here but if Andrew wouldn't have been here it would have took me all day so luckily Andrew is here station now. My chance during four minutes so Thank you. 
am now back home from my little trip to Sheffield and I had an absolutely great time. So I thought I'd just tell you a little bit about the show. So obviously I went to see Miss Saigon at the Cruiseport Theatre in Sheffield. Uh, this is my first time ever going to the Cruiseport Theatre, never been there before, um, didn't really know much about the theatre other than it's a thrust stage and the audience sit around the stage, that's the only thing I knew about it and um, yeah it was it's a lovely theatre I have to say it's a really nice venue if you can get to it uh, for a show definitely do because it's a it's a really lovely theatre so for this show I was sat on row D seat 18 which was the end of a row which was perfect for me especially since I had to rush to get the train at the end uh, but my view was excellent I think the way the theatre is set out um, like you sat around and it goes up it's only one tiered it's not like several tiers uh, I think you get quite a good view from wherever you're sat obviously you may not get as good a view if you're at the very end uh, you know like it goes round round like that if you sat on like the end there you might not get as good a view so yeah our view was absolutely excellent and uh, really comfortable as well so I was invited to the press night of Miss Saigon um, so my tickets were kind of gifted but the seats that I was sit sitting in I think are usually £35 uh, which I actually don't think is too bad uh, especially for the view uh, that we got. Uh, there wasn't any merch for the show, I didn't think there would be with it like being a new show, I didn't think there would be any merch but the Crucible Theatre do sell their own merch, they sell merch for the Crucible Theatre, I think they had like notebooks, pens, mugs things like that so they had all those on sale i didn't buy anything but the pens were nice i was tempted by a pen because uh, i love stationery uh in the theater they also have like a little cafe there um so if you get there before the show starts there's a little cafe and they do sell some hot foods i could see uh, and cakes and stuff like that so there is a little cafe in there if you do not get there early and you want food i didn't realize that so i went to uh weatherspoons for food but if i'd known i could have gone in earlier and got food i probably would have just got food there it might have been easier um so yeah, i know that for next time so when we did come into the theatre it did take quite a while to get everyone in um it's like there's only a small foyer area and i don't think they started letting people in till like 10 to 7 um so there was, there was quite a big queue and it seems paying quite a long time to get people up and into the theatre um one point someone came up to the person that was doing my ticket and said don't bother scanning the tickets now just visually look at them because it's taking too long uh, so that's what they ended up doing um I don't know why we were let in um, so late or if that's what they usually do I don't know um, but the show started pretty much on time Maybe it might have been just a couple of minutes late so they did manage to get everyone in pretty quick um, once, once they started just visually checking the tickets so this production is about two and a half hours long uh, the first half is an hour and 15 minutes long then you have a 20 minute interval and then the second half is an hour long. So if you're not familiar with the story of Miss Saigon, it is set in Vietnam during the Vietnam War and it tells the story of Kim. Kim falls in love with American GI. Um, he eventually has to leave Vietnam and promises he'll come back for her. Um, so he leaves and Kim, once he leaves, finds out that she's pregnant and has a son uh, she's waiting for him to come back as he promised that he would come back for her and she believes wholeheartedly that he will come back for her and then with the help of the engineer she does end up um, being able to contact Chris and meet up with him and that is the basis of the story so it's basically a love story it does end in tragedy but I don't want to give away the ending in case you haven't seen it um, it is also loosely based on Madame Butterfly so if you've seen that opera you may know the story of, of this because like I say it is loosely based on that so that is the story so obviously this production of Miss Saigon is not a replica production 
it is a new production a uh, new direction um new staging obviously this is a thrust stage so the staging is completely different and i really enjoyed it so if you have seen productions of miss saigon before this one um the staging the set is very stripped back the set in previous productions have been quite extensive lots of props lots of uh, big set pieces this one is very stripped back it's very simple um they don't even bring on that many props to be honest but the way they've done it it just works you're just so fixated on the people and the story um that you don't even you don't even notice the lack of props and set because you just focus on the story and what they do do works so well um so yeah i i love the staging and the set the way it was i thought it was excellent one thing the main thing that they've changed in the story is the engineer is a woman in this one and i actually thought it worked really well and joanne ample who played the engineer was just amazing in this role she was so good her voice was phenomenal now, i've seen her before in south pacific and she was good in that but wow she was just amazing in this she just blew me away with uh, her voice and just the way she played the engineer I thought she was excellent so i really enjoyed uh, i really enjoyed that aspect i enjoyed that they've changed it up and made the engineer a woman and i just really enjoyed um joanne ample's performance like i said she gave an absolutely amazing performance it may even be my standout performance of the show actually i mean everyone in this show was amazing so it is hard to pick a standout but i think maybe she just just picked it as a standout performer because she she was amazing so obviously there's no merch for this show but i did get a program as I was there to review it this was kindly gifted i had no idea how much these were i didn't get to see they were selling them I just didn't see any prices so I'm not sure how much these were uh, but I will go through the program with you now and show you the cast. Okay so this is the program it is quite a big program um, most programs that I get from the theatres are like A5 size this is a full A4 size program um, so this I would expect would be more expensive than the ones I get from uh, the Palace and the Lowry which are about around six pounds so i'm thinking maybe this is around eight pounds because it is a good program um i'm not sure um but i'm sure you'll find out once you get there if you want a program uh so it just says sheffield theaters at the top it has kim and the engineer the two ladies who play those on the front it says miss saigon it's also a neon um as like a neon sign and then it says saturday the 8th of july to the saturday the 19th of august uh, and then it says Sheffield Theatre's new production of Bordel and Schonsberg's legendary musical by special arrangement with Cameron McIntosh. And here it says The Crucible. And here it says Photos by Michael Worley. Image to pronounce design by Rebecca Pitt. Okay, so in the first page here, it says Miss Saigon, Sheffield Theatre's new production, and oh, that's just the same what it says on the front. It's got all your information about the show, um, who's on the music, the lyrics, uh, adapted for the original front text, so on, so on. Uh, and you've got your directors, choreographers, and everything on there. This page is a welcome. So this is just about Sheffield theatres and some upcoming shows. Then you have your cast all listed here. Then you've got your production team listed and your orchestra. And on this page you have your musical numbers. So in Act 1, you've got the Overture slash Backstage at Dreamland. You've got The Heat is on in Saigon. The movie in my mind. 
The Transaction, Kim and Chris Dance, Why God Why, This Money's Yours, Sun and Moon, Dragons, Telephone Sequence, The Deal, The Wedding, Boys Intervention, Last Night of the World, The Morning of the Dragon, I Still Believe, Cuckoo Princess, You Will Not Touch Him, If You Want to Die in Bed, Kim an Engineer, and I'd Give My Life for You. That's Act 1. So then in Act 2, you've got Intricate, I think it says, Boudoy, The Revelation, Bangkok, Too Much for One Heart, Chris is Here, Kim's Nightmare, Sun and Moon Reprise, Room, Maybe, The Confrontation, Paper Dragons, The American Dream and Little God of My Heart. So those are all the musical numbers. Then you have some rehearsal uh, shots in here. Two True Trong Testimonial. So it says... Du Tru Trong worked as an interpreter and liaison between Vietnamese forces and American intelligence until the fall of Saigon. Unable to live safely under the new communist regime, he and his family joined thousands of uh, citizens attempting to escape from Vietnam by sea in the late 1970s. His son Ethan, a small child at the time, recently encouraged his father to write down what he remembered. About his chapter in their family history. These are Joy True Trong's own words taken from a letter to Ethan. So we've got that in there. Then you have some more rehearsal shots. Then you have an interview. This is here. We caught up with the designer Ben Stones, lighting designer Jessica Hung Han Yu, and video and animators designer Andrej Golding, talk design and Miss Saigon. So here you go. Let's interview with those. Some more rehearsal shots. And then you have your cast biographies. So as I mentioned earlier, Joanna Ample played the engineer. Like I said, she was absolutely amazing. Um, she was in the uh, tour of South Pacific. I think that was last year. Um, so I saw her in that tour. And again, she was excellent in that. But um, outstanding in this. Her performance in this is just something else she was so good in this um she's also been in other things she's been in miss saigon before she's been jesus christ superstar Les Mis. she's done a lot a lot of work and she's amazing playing mimi slash alternate kim is Dempsmonda cafable i have to say i'm sorry for pronouncing any names wrong i'm really bad at pronouncing names Playing a GI is Adam Colbeck Dunn. Uh, another GI is Andrew Davison. Davison. Playing Gigi was Anrad Ferrer. So playing Ellen was Shanae Holmes. And I have to say, Sinead's version of Maybe was absolutely gorgeous. It was so moving. She put so much emotion into it. It was such a beautiful, beautiful song. And I lo just loved the way she did it. Um, yeah, so she was she was really, really good again. So she has previously been in Get Up Stand Up, the Bob, Bob Marley musical. She's been in Frill Alive, she's been in The Bodyguard, so she's done a lot of big theatre shows. Uh, we then had Oscar Kong, Kong as one of the ensemble, Abel Law as one of the ensemble, 
Ethan Lee Fong as Foy, Jessica Lee as Kim, and alternate Mimi. Jessica as Kim was again outstanding, loved her performance of Kim. She was so intense uh, at the times that she needed to be and she also played her with this softness at the beginning and just wonderful, loved her performance of Kim. Her songs, her solo songs were beautifully sung and I just thought she made an amazing Kim, loved her performance. Then as one of the ensemble you have Lavina May playing Chris was Christian Maynard and again I really enjoyed his performance of Chris, loved his singing, I thought he had a really lovely singing voice. Um, his other theatre credits, he's been in Taboo, the Taboo concert, he's been in Baby's Workshop. Uh, so he's not done a lot. Um, he was in Anne Juliet and he's been in Five Games named Mo. So yeah, he's not been in a lot, but I thought he was really good. Uh, Patrick Monday, he was an ensemble member and understudy Foy. Emily Oi uh, played Yvonne. An understudy Gigi. Shane O'Royden played John. He's been in Elf the musical. He's been in Back to the Future the musical. He's been in Les Mis. Uh, and he's been in Hairspray, so he's been in some good shows there. Rachel Jane Pickard was another ensemble member. Arika Pasadas played Fifi and understudy engineer. Aaron Rayner played a GI and he was also understudy Chris. Ernest Stroud was an ensemble member. Rumi Sutton was an ensemble member. Callan Tempest played a GI. Danny Whalen was a GI, Riley Woodford played a GI, and Inversion Yaboot was an ensemble member. So they have a few different TAMs. You've got Anaya Awako Bennett played TAM, Ikean Ray. Lulamo played Tam, Deacon Pinder played Tam and Hirak Singla played Tam mm -hmm. and I think he was the child that played Tam for our performance. I think. I'm not 100% it was either him or him. It's really hard to tell with children. <laughs> I think it was one of those two. And here you have the creatives biographies, another um, rehearsal shot, some more rehearsal shots. More creative biographies. The rehearsal shot there. And then you've got your production credit. staff, contractors and suppliers, and your thank you credits. Another couple of pages of rehearsal shots. More rehearsal shots. Advert for an upcoming production. about becoming a 
theatre member. Staff at the Crucible and then you've got an advert for White Christmas which is the Christmas show at the Crucible. And that is your programme. I think that was a really good programme. There's some articles in there, uh, really good uh, cast biographies, uh, the papers nice and thick and also shiny. Um, so yeah, I think that's a really good quality programme. So yeah, like I said, I really, really enjoyed this show. So did my brother. Um, the vocal talent in this show is just excellent. Absolutely amazing. And I gave this show five stars because it's definitely the best show that I've seen so far this year. 100% this is the best one that I've seen. Um, I really enjoyed some of the, the direction they did they took on this, um, the changes, I thought some of them worked really well um, and yeah I just had a great time at the theatre and I fully, fully enjoyed it. I know some people don't like Miss Saigon so the source material for Miss Saigon does come under a lot of criticism. Now I do think this production has sort of addressed some of the criticism, um, maybe not all of it um i suggest you see it and see what you think personally i i still really enjoyed the show um and i do i do recommend it so yeah i hope you have enjoyed this little theater vlog and review if you do enjoy theater vlogs then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell um so that you'll be notified as soon as my next one goes up like I said, I hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.